Hey guys, hey, it's me, Jimmy Lou from the Messy Craft Corner. Good morning, you guys. It's journal day. That means we're going to work all day to create an amazing gratitude journal. Oh, I'm looking forward to this one, you guys. I've been looking forward to this one for like a couple of weeks now. So um, <clears throat> I want to tell you, you can get a kit uh, which has all of the fabrics and some paper if you want to get Cynthia's printables uh, I'll have a link for you in the next video for that if you're getting here say hello because I'm excited to be here and I know you guys are too good morning Diana Barker oh you guys okay so uh there's a bunch of things that you get in the kit I don't have a kit in here to show you all what you get uh because I just this process can be a little messy so I didn't want to mess up an extra kit but um you guys if you order a kit you get uh two pieces of fabric that are cut to size you get the big envelope for creating uh your cover a piece of felt and here's the fabrics that you get you get this floral piece and this purple piece and then i'm also sending along a piece of this hand dyed lace um it's big enough to cover the spine of your book, uh, which is what I'm going to do with mine. But you could use it wherever you like, and that's up to you. Um, so that's the fabric stuff that comes in the kit. You also get, like, there's lace and there's other stuff, too. The link for that is in the description of the video. If you order today, you guys can have it shipped tomorrow. And um, I might put something a little extra into your bags for ordering on journal day. So um, let's get started, okay? So how this is gonna work today is I'll be live right now. We're gonna do a segment and I'm gonna glue together my cover. <clears throat> then we'll take a break and we'll come back. I'll be at the sewing machine at the table and I'm gonna show you stitching. We're gonna stitch all around the outside and um, see what else we want to do sewing machine wise I might show you how to do a ruffle with any extra fabrics if you might have some fabric laying around that you might want to try uh you know we can talk about snippet rolls that are sewn and things like that so we'll do some sewing machine work <clears throat> and then Vicky Wood we need to get together yes get a friend oh my goodness yes get a friend a sister <coughs> excuse me a husband Somebody who will sit and glue stuff with you uh, because how fun will this be? Okay, in your kit, you'll get one of these brown bags. I'm talking about what will go into my signature. That'll be the third video today. We'll do the signature. Um, and each day, each uh, video, I'll tell you what time I'll be live next the next time because it depends on when I end. In the kit, you get uh, one of these brown bags. And um, you know what? I'm going to toss in two envelopes. I didn't have that listed on the list, uh, but I'll include two envelopes for those of you for today. Uh, that'll go together to create part in our signature. So um, a signature is usually like 12 to 15 pages per signature, okay? This one here is going to have um, <clears throat> 16 pages plus these two extras. But you, you guys do you, however you want to do them, okay? Um, <clears throat> the thing with this is it's a gratitude journal, and I want there to be a page a day to work with. So, you know, if you want to keep, like, a journal each day in the month of November um, to, sh to show your gratitude for whatever you have going on, it helps us to kind of silence down and start to get our minds into a place where we should be thankful. In the United States, we have Thanksgiving in November. In Canada, they just had it, uh, what, a week or two ago? So, okay, Sherry, you can always watch the replay. Um, the link is in the description of the video, Jackie King. Let me also give it to you here. If you click that little thing that looks like a chain link down there, um, Facebook should pop open the uh the kit for you it is called gratitude journal cover is what it's called and it's going to be purple when you look at it okay so when you open it up you're going to see these these pieces here as part of it okay 
All right, and then uh, in the kit, you'll also get a piece of purple dyed paper. I have two of those that I'm using in my book, and <clears throat> you can see it's it didn't get quite as dark. I used the same dye on this as I did on this, so it's going to be different shades of purple, which I'm okay with because the flowers here have different shades of purple, and in Cynthia's kit, we have different shades of purple. So I'm okay if the shades are slightly off, okay? Um, I'm also pulled out a piece of coffee dyed paper. Um, so you get a piece of purple dyed paper in the kit, and you also will get five sheets of this junk journaling paper. So I've used this in a lot of these soft cover journals, and you can decorate these out the way that you want. I really love how these brown tones match the brown tones in Cynthia's kit. So you can choose to purchase Cynthia's uh, gratitude journal kit. I'll have a link. If she's here, she may put the link in. Yep. Exclamation notify. Well, Facebook will take care of telling you when I'm live. Um, so you guys, this I double printed. So it has a lot of writing places. So you're going to be thinking of this more along the lines of places to write. There are places where you can add photographs. So that's fine too. So here's the printable. I printed double-sided. Now I had two set, two different sets, and I don't remember which came with which set. I just kind of opened it up and started printing, and I love the way they just turned out really pretty on both sides. And then I was fussy cutting like, like a wild woman last night. I was fussy cutting. And so these papers here do not come with the kit, but you can purchase them from Cynthia. They're on sale right now, you guys, so they're not very expensive. And that's going to give me the 16 pages plus two places for pockets for us to decorate and keep things like tags or memorabilia or whatever. So um, if you purchase the physical kit, the cover kit, which I'm about to do right now, <clears throat> I'll put in a little something extra in your kit today, okay? That's for today only while we're doing this. So watch throughout the day. You don't have to purchase first thing this morning. I have kits at the ready to go. Um, shipping day around here are Mondays and Fridays. We've been throwing in an extra day because we had to. But uh, Friday, we'll be shipping out all of the kits that are ordered today. So be ready for that. Okay, in your kit, you're going to get a white... Uh, uh, shipping envelope. Okay. You can purchase these at Walmart. I buy mine at Staples. You can see here and you want to seal it guys. So just seal it up. What's everybody been doing already this morning? Everybody have their coffee. I am not a coffee drinker, but I did have my breakfast of champions, lucky charms. Um, that's a little trivia. If we ever play trivia around here and it gets asked, what's Jimmy Lou's favorite breakfast cereal? Lucky Charms. When I was a kid, it was tricks. Now, Lucky Charms. So keep that in mind. So grab your spoon and your Fabri-Tac. We're using Fabri-Tac today. I'm going to take this off because I don't want to get it all schmutzed up with fabric glue this morning. So we're going to start by adding a layer of the, um, the white felt to give it a little bit of cushion and a little bit of body. So I'm using Fabri-Tac. By the time I get to the sewing machine, um, oh, it's my glue is cold, you guys. Um, by the time I get to my sewing machine today, uh, the Fabri-Tac will be uh, dried enough to be able to stitch through. So that's uh, one way to do it. Okay, um, you can sew. If you don't have a sewing machine, still come hang out with us. Because you just never can tell. Oh boy, this is going to cause me trouble today. I can tell. Come on. Fabri-Tac, don't leave me hanging. Okay. So I'm just getting it started. And put this straight on here like this. Now, you get a little bit extra so that you have room to kind of... They are magically delicious. And I'm Irish, so I mean, why not have that for breakfast, right? <laughs> So, um, <clears throat> let me just tell you that, uh, I think it's a good idea to do a gratitude journal. I have a journal that I write in. It's not these pretty, pretty journals. Um, but, uh, so this one will be, uh, in the next auction. We're having a sale on Saturday guys, but it's not a, Ooh, it's not a book sale. My little, 
Well, I thought I wiped that off yesterday. I crafted last night. That's why. <laughs> that's okay. It gets under. I wonder if I don't have a clog. Hang on a second till I jab this with a pin. Give me a second. Let me see if I can jab this out. It's quite possible that there's a, a clog in here that's just giving me a little trouble. No, it doesn't look like it. I think it's just, it's been cold in here to, lately. So, uh, let's talk about coldness. Last night I, or yesterday I was watching Chris Hunter and she was saying that her mom's Fabri-Tac is stringy. So if your glue is, um, cold, it can be stringy like this. Okay. So, uh, that's one thing. Uh, if your glue is old, it can also be stringy, but, uh, let me just tell you, I don't have enough of it sitting around here for it to get old. If you see my glue is stringy, it's probably because it's cold in here. <laughs> All right, so I'm just spreading the glue and pushing this over. Some of you are new around here and you haven't seen an entire journal in a day. Um, <clears throat> I can do it. I suggest if you've not ever done one to take your time, maybe spread it out over, I don't know, two, three days if you like. But if you really want to get a journal happening, okay, it's starting to warm up now because of my hand. Um, I'm saying that with the right tools, if you have things ready in place, you can, you can maybe get her done. I'm just saying, I'm just, it's just a suggestion. Um, but you know, I'm not writing in it either. Okay. So if I were writing in it, yeah, it's going to take me 30 days to do a gratitude journal. Um, but, you know, making the signatures and getting things in place and ready to write in, you'll have it good to go. So, all right. So tell me, you guys, in the comments, are you a coffee drinker or a tea drinker or, you know, like you drink Mountain Dew first thing in the morning? Um, I'm getting old. I'm getting too old to do the Mountain Dew thing in the morning, you guys. <laughs> I used to. I used to, but I got to tell you, I'm just... It gives me too much of a buzz first thing in the morning anymore. Ice cappuccino. She's an ice cap girl. You guys, in my cut-aparts, I not only did the cut-aparts from the kit, but I also cut out some mini Jimmy Lou's. Hey there, <clears throat> Jessica Newberg is in the house. She has a Facebook page. If she tells us what it is, you might could go follow her. Um, I know she, I think she also has, does she have a TikTok too, I think? I don't know. Hot tea and Pepsi free. <laughs> <clears throat> Chai tea with, ooh, you have ice cream for breakfast? What a good way. Oh my gosh, Rhonda with the frappes you guys with these fancy drinks some of these i've never tried i admit it freely i've never had a frappe i had it on my finger once uh when i was getting one for elizabeth <laughs> and i cut i cut that out real quick okay let me get my my scissors here okay i'm gonna press this out so yeah cynthia has a design team and um, we can tell her what printables we want to work with. And then she says, here, do it. And then we give her pictures and stuff to use for her page. And then she gets to see her, her stuff in action, you guys, which is fun. Jessica is on the design team. So is Shauna at Fraps and Scraps. She's probably still sleeping, you guys, on the West Coast. It's early for them. If you're up on the West Coast to catch this video, kudos to you. You all deserve an extra prize. Thank you, whoever just purchased a kit. We appreciate it very much. Larry's going to be building kits today, you guys. <clears throat> okay, so also uh, Mama P is on the design team. Did I miss anybody? I think I got us all. And uh, I want to do... I want to do a cookbook with you guys coming up in the next week, few weeks, because I think those are nice Christmas gifts. Oh man, Rhonda, go back to bed. 4 a.m. Ooh, girl. What is so important? You must get up at 4 a.m. Listen, 
I am not a morning person. <laughs> Andrea. <laughs> yeah, they're talking about it's 4 a.m. on the West Coast and she's awake watching me. I said, go back to bed. You can watch the replay. <laughs> I'm not a morning person, though, am I? Early to bed, early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Well, not all of us want to go to bed at 7 o'clock at night either there, Mr. Smallwood. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wasn't. I'm teasing him. Thanks for sprinkling. <laughs> okay, so next you want to use, you're going to use your floral piece. So the floral piece is going to actually be the outside of my cover, okay? So that's your bigger piece to go around the outside. Let me, oh geez, I left it in the other room. I wanted to show you my, my faith journal because my faith journal, I did kind of the opposite. Okay, so here's my faith journal, and that's a free group you can join. Um, and I did the purple on the outside, and I did a green on the inside. So uh, if you're not in the faith journaling group, consider joining because, you guys, um, we got some really cool printables. See this floral stuff and some cool butterflies and... Um, we got some really cool, we're studying is trust. Next month, we're going to be studying grat gratitude, I think, is what we're studying next month. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So, you know, we learned last night, Cynthia taught how to make a prayer closet out of paper, which is really, really cool. So this one, I decided we're going to do the floral piece on the outside, make it nice and bright, um, it, it, you know, just fun to you want to get in it and you want to write in it okay and then my interior piece is going to be this purple so it's going to be a little darker on the inside but that's okay so it was fun wasn't it cheryl we had a lot of fun in there last night and it, you know we're doing things okay so what it is is um cynthia and i take turns so one week on a wednesday she does a live and teaches something fun that you can use in your journals and then <clears throat> the the next wednesday i do something and we just kind of like flip flop back and forth so um you can learn how to make a journal cover in there and how to put in a signature. Cynthia has a video in there of how she did her journal. So you have options. There's there's different things to do in there. And then Cynthia creates some fun uh, things for us each month. Um, there's a base set that has all those floral pieces, uh, the roses, and then, uh, yeah. Oh, Graphic45 just sent me a message. Great, check that out later. Okay. Also, I want to tell you, I have some new fun uh, dies, the thin cut dies coming from um, Scrap Diva. Uh, I have a affiliate with Scrap Diva now, and I have a discount code. Uh, so tell me, do you want to, should I share the uh, link for the Scrap Diva die that I'm going to use as soon as it gets here? Um to create a journal so you can order ahead of time or would you um would you rather just wait to see it i mean i can share it twice but all right so i am spreading the glue with a spoon i'm putting it on here and then spreading it here's my reasoning this is exactly why i do this because i don't want to put lines of glue like this and then put my cover down and then see those lines of glue or have puckers because i didn't spread it and and pull it so okay i'll do that uh if it's not up by tomorrow you guys remind me okay because i have a lot um happening today okay i need to lay this on its side so i don't have to wait forever for the glue to get down to the tip um, I use Fabri-Tac for this because the fabric to the glue plus uh, Fabri-Tac is meant for you to be able to sew. Uh, you know, you can tack something on and then stitch it. So it's not going to gum up my machine. If I use any other kind of glue, I get like these gumballs around my sewing needle and then the needle breaks and it's a whole thing. So... <laughs> 
yeah so it's that but scrap diva i i had did a journal oh i think it was like a year ago or so uh it was a camera the die was a camera and anybody remember when we did that little mini journal it was so much fun i i uh, she's sending me a couple of dies to use actually so but yeah i can get a link for the one that i'm going to use in the upcoming weeks so there we go, you guys. And we just keep working left to right, just like you read a book left to right. Um, so I have another question. Those of you who are watching, and I want everyone to answer. There's 50-some people on here right now, <clears throat> which is good for this time of day because I'm not usually on this time of day. <clears throat> Tell me in the comments, are you a lefty or a righty? We were having this discussion in the Faith Journal group last night because... Um, I know Cynthia for several, several years and it never dawned on me and I've seen her, I've watched her videos, I've watched her lives and I've seen her, um, many, many times. I dawned on me the other day, she's a lefty <laughs> and she was asking last night, if you're a lefty, do you have left-handed scissors? Because, you know, I... I was under the assumption Tim Holtz scissors were either direction. You could use them either direction if you were lefty or righty. But apparently there's still something with the way you can see it, the stuff that's on it. I don't know. I don't have a pair of left-handed scissors to say I'm a lefty. So I don't, she was on there. She's like, I think I'll try to use my right hand. <laughs> she says, nope, can't do it. <laughs> you got a monkey wrench? No, do you? No. <laughs> He's joking. That's not even a thing, you guys. Oh, and he's got something special coming for you guys in the next uh, week or so, too, that I'm excited about. You used to have left-handed scissors. So I think she's looking for, you know, should she spend the money to get a pair of left-handed scissors? A good pair because, you know, I mean, you can buy a cheap pair at the <clears throat> at the dollar store probably or at Walmart. I think Walmart probably sells um, lefty scissors. <clears throat> yeah, you were saying it's something to do with the blade. Well, somebody needs to tell Tim Holtz that he needs to create a pair of left-handed scissors. Although, like, I, I think, like, his big thing is that, you know, you can use them lefty or righty. I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm a righty. I've always been a righty, and I don't typically notice people who are left hand. Not that I don't notice you. Not that I don't see you. But I don't notice what hand they're using. So, okay, so our piece is now glued left to right over. We're going to flip over our entire piece. I'm going to set down my spoon. And um, we're going to now miter cut our corners, all four, and then we're going to be pulling in. Now, somebody was saying, why don't I do my corners like this? And that's because you get a lot of extra bulk up here. <clears throat> I'm a lefty and like left-handed scissors, but you can use both. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Yeah, convince her if she needs to get a pair. These um, Fiskars... These I got uh, when, yeah, I guess the other side would, I don't know. I'm trying to wrap my head around it, and I think my right brain just can't, can't handle the concept. I just think I can't handle the concept of it, you guys. Any hoodles, these... Um, <clears throat> these I got at Hobby Lobby, and they, they cut through thick stuff, too. So when I'm cutting the um, the felt for these kits, I can cut through two layers at a time. So Amazon, oh, there you go, Debbie Harris. Send Cynthia a message uh, with which ones they have on sale, because that's great to know. All right, so I'm coming into my corner. When I get to my corner... I rotate my scissors out and away, and I put my hand in the way so you can't even see. But I leave a little bit of fabric right at the corner. An eighth of an inch is all you actually need. And then this can go into your scrap jar. And we're just going to go around this way, and we're cutting in. Oops. Guess what? To the corner, what? Paper that you cut <laughs> with a guillotine cutter, and you have it in your hand walking across to the trash can, is easy to drop. 
Very hard to pick up, though. <laughs> the gravity is strong in this house. I'm just saying. You even eat with your right hand, but you're left-handed. So you're, you're, what do they call that? Ombre dextrous, where you can do things. Is that how you say it? My, my niece's one little girl is that. She can do things with both her left and her right hand. So... All right, so we're just, look at how pretty that is. We can use that on a tag or something if we want to later. And we're gonna do, we're gonna do tags, we're gonna do pockets, we're gonna do ambidextrous, that's it. I knew it was that. I was just checking to see if you guys knew. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're gonna pull these in and we're gonna glue these down. Now I was debating whether or not my Okay, so on my cover here, after I sew in my signature, I'm going to probably put this purple lace, okay? But, you guys, I also have, I have this that um, my sweet friend Pat McKinney sent me. Look at this purple. It shimmers, you guys, and it's a little on the stretchy side. So I was debating of maybe using this on the spine instead and then using this as a tie, but I changed my mind since then. So um, I'm debating also, do I want to use this as pockets? Because when I take it to the sewing machine, I can put it straight down and it'll stitch it right into place also. But it, with it having a little bit of spring, that makes me a little nervous. So tell me what you think. This, though, on the inside is going to be over top of this. So it will look a little something like this. It'll be shimmery. I don't think I'm going to like that. I think I'm going to want to pull out some lace to create a lace pocket. But I do have this to use with this journal. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put glue on both long sides and pull these in. Hey, Robin, how are you feeling? I know some of the girls were asking about how you're feeling. And I don't know because I haven't really. I'm trying to give you time to to rest and heal and stuff. But how you do? How you doing, girl? Who's excited for Saturday's pick a card? We're going to play pick a card on Saturday. We're going to have some other fun prizes as well. So you could maybe win something even if you don't play the pick a card. Um, we're going to be doing some like a little bit of maybe, I don't know, like game, like questioning. And then picking some fun prizes for some fun ladies. But uh, I'm excited. I don't know. Larry, are you excited for pick a card? Are you getting your muscles ready for holding up those cards? <laughs> all right so i'm just again spreading it so that it doesn't leave those funny lines and i'm just gonna pull it in nice and tight thanks for sprinkling the stretchy purple will look nice on the spine and the purple lace over top okay hold on we might have to see what that's gonna look like but I'm not going to put that on until after I sew in my signature anyways, because I want it to kind of hide up the signature part. So um, we'll see what we're going to do that. Yeah, we're going to do an entire pick a card. Now, you do have to be in the U.S. to do pick a card. Um, oh, you know what? I just thought of something. There was someone who bought pick a card last time. And I was supposed to get them shipping information. I don't know if I ever... I got the information. I don't know if I ever sent it to her. Oh, jeez. My brain sometimes. So I'm just pulling this in. Okay? Yeah, I got a Wonka Doodle brain. And then we're going to pull these sides in. Now, leaving that little bit of extra on the corners just will help to wrap it around so that you don't see your co corners poking out. Now, it's... <laughs> Listen, hundreds of thousands of comedians are out of work and you're trying to be funny. Hard to be hard. Don't quit your day job. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's actually out there prepping pick a card uh stuff for in the pick a card kits. So <laughs> that'll be fun. I think it's gonna be fun. So how it works is it costs ten dollars and um 
he'll hold up five cards and you get to pick the number. Okay. You don't get to see what the front of the card looks like. And, um, the fronts of the cards are all different. And so then you say, oh, I want a jack of hearts. And then he'll turn it over and show you what your card is going to be and all that fun stuff. So, uh, and then you get a kit that has all the stuff to make one of those little mini journals. Still feeling a real, uh, oh, oh, you loved your pick a card. I had, we had fun. It was a fun little thing that we did as part of a regular sale. And so we decided to, to do just pick a card because how fun could it be? And everybody wins. It's a game, but everybody wins. And then we're going to have some fun little extra prizes, uh, throughout. So you could even, even if you don't play pick a card, you might still could win a happy mail prize. So oops, let me get that off of there. All right. We're going to pull this in. And that covers up the entire outside of our piece is now covered. Now this is going to look really pretty with a beige, I have a beige color thread on the sewing machine and we're going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to get a little fancy this time. You guys, we're going to do some straight, then some zigzag, then some straight and some zigzag, straight zigzag, just to make it a little more eye appealing. I'm not doing anything down the center. We're only going to do the perimeter of the book. But I'm going to show you some other things you can do with your sewing machine. So um, after we're done this, we'll take a little break. We'll come back. I'll tell you what time we're going to come back when we're done here. And then you can um, come and watch the sewing machine part. Now, if you don't have a sewing machine, that's okay. Um, you don't have to stitch the cover. The cover looks plenty pretty without sewing machine stitching on it. Um, when I first started doing these entire journals in a day, a year, it was about a year ago that I started doing them. Um, I don't think, I don't think I've seen any other crafters that do an entire journal in a day. I think, don't know if they're just not crazy enough or what, but how fun is this? All right. So we're just going to glue this down now. It's going to fray. I'm okay with that. I'm okay if it has a little bit of fraying. What I do need it to do is to scoot over a bit because... Hang on. Uh-oh. Hold on. I'm not quite all the way down at the end on the other side over here. So there we go. Oh, brother. My glue. I didn't get enough of glue on there. Sometimes you do get... Thank you for the stars. Um... Sometimes you do have to fiddle with it a little bit to get it, you know, moving, but, uh, you can get it happen. I lifted that one up and I want to make sure I have enough of glue on there. All right, here we go. Third time's a charm, you guys. We can do it this time. I know it. I just had it a little too tight on the, the end there. All right, so just like so. And now we're just going to work left to right just like we did before. And I got to tell you, this right here needs a little bitty trim. Because I see when I cut it with my blade, I thought my blade jumped a little. But, well, it is homemade. <laughs> oh, we have 70 friends on here. How fun. How exciting. So then the purple is going to be on the inside. The flowers are going to be on the outside. I think I even have some really pretty kind of trim if I wanted to. On the inside, we could maybe, let me, just, oh geez, that must have been unraveled. On the inside, after we do the sewing, we can even take a little bit of trim work and go along the edges if we like. So I'm going to keep this out because that's a possibility. Okay. So um, <clears throat> you guys can get a kit and you'll get the fabric that you need for creating a journal uh, in that kit. When I come back live later, I'll show you everything exactly you get in the kit. And the price of the kits are, um, I put them at $40 this time. Uh, sometimes they're 50 depending on 
what uh, goes all goes into it. So, and you know, there's not a lot of fancy extras in this kit. Uh, not that I didn't want them to be, but I think a gratitude journal is all about being grateful and it doesn't always have to be about the extras, you know? God sometimes gives us extras, which is good, but we also have to be grateful for what we have. Who's with me? Who's Who actually has done in the past... I know Cynthia is going to say she has. Who has done a gratitude journal? Hey, Christy Nelson. And sure, you guys can go and you can get the fabric and stuff yourself and all the other things. But there are some of my ladies here who are, first of all, they're shut-ins, uh, you know, or they can't get out or they don't have the, 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 just the supplies in their Walmart doesn't maybe carry fabric or, or they just want to use exactly what I have. But, um, <clears throat> you know, you guys can use what you have in your stash too. Cause maybe some of you have a really pretty, the, the one that I did for the faith journaling, that was a purple napkin. And when I wanted to pull together this kit, I actually bought purple fabric. So, okay, we're just working that left to right. We're doing good. I'm liking it. It's turning out just so pretty. 2019. Hmm. It was a long time ago. <laughs> it feels like a long time ago with the big C and everything, you know. <clears throat> All right. So we're just going to get this last little bit glued down here. Oh, so it makes it hard to see when you drop it. <laughs> so there you go. If you get a pick a card kit, you might get paper in your kit that matches our kitchen tile. <laughs> okay, the next question about the gratitude journal is who has always wanted to do one, but you just have been like not in a place to start one. Because uh, that can happen too. All right, here's the last little bit that we need. And then I'm going to check my corners to make sure in case I need to add any little extra. And I got to tell you, I get nervous about taking things to the sewing machine uh, on camera because I think I have camera anxiety with it. <laughs> So when that time when we were doing it and the sewing machine just, that was when my mom's sewing machine kind of went down. But all right, so there's our pieces. Now I'm just checking my corners over here because sometimes, see how that lifts up? I just didn't get quite enough around that corner. So now let me tell you, I have to give some, Larry can have some bragging rights here, you guys. Uh, the idea for the spoon, I used to do these and I used to spread it with my finger and, um, Larry said to me, well, couldn't you use a spoon or something? And so then that's when I started, uh, using a spoon to do it. You guys, uh, it was Larry's idea <laughs> because I married a smart, smart man, you guys, a smart, smart man. All right. So just check your corners to be sure. If you need to, oops, add a little extra here or there, you can do it. So even though we're going to be sewing it, so it won't be so, but it won't be so bad <laughs> if you did miss a little bit of a corner. And then what I just do is I just take this and I fold it over and I press it down, right? So we're just going to, we're kind of creasing that folder on the inside. And then there's our front and our back. Now, somebody said, why don't you put this? on to wrap around that pretty pretty purple oh my goodness it's so and it's like silky and then they said put the lace over the top of it well see you still really can't see the lace then and i think that's what my problem is so really what i need to decide here is do i want the purple and it could come as i decide what i want to put on the cover i think i'm going simple with it's there's a cutout piece that Cynthia has in the kit that just says gratitude on it. 
and I may just only do that at the bottom. If so, then maybe I do want something kind of shimmery. Um, we might could do, you know, this over the entire top and then this over that, but then it pulls away something from the actual um, fabric. So I kind of wanted to keep it more a little on the bright side. So I think depending on what I'm going to put on the cover and I'm not, I don't need to worry about this at the moment because, um, I'm going to sew in my signature before, before I decide what I'm putting there. So the next step in this is going to be, whoops, is to not glue it together, is to take it to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch four sides all the way around. So this is where I think I want to decide Hang on a second. You know, about the pocket and see what we want to maybe do here. Because I have a little of, of kind of each something here. So I have this nice white. This would make a nice pocket. Um, we could do a pocket on one side and a belly band on the other. I love this for belly band. It's very pretty for a belly band. So we, we might could do that and then do a pocket. So we could do a pocket belly band. What do you guys think about that idea? And this just came from, um, Christy Nelson. I think if you have, if you want to do hand stitching with it, go ahead um, or are you talking about one of those handheld sewing machines? They're very noisy. Which one are you talking about? You know, I'm not doing it again. I love this lace too. This comes from Hobby Lobby. This is not old. You can even take some lace or something and weave through the center if you want to. I don't think I have any purple that's kind of plain that will just fit through there. I do have this. This has a little bit of gold edging. So we could take the time and weave this organ. It's kind of sticky, but this organza ribbon. Hold on, my eyes just can't see, I think. To just kind of do this with. So if you see what I'm saying, then it'll add a little bit of gold kind of. Oh, I think you could use it with white lace over the purple silk. Maybe we could definitely take a look at that. So what do you guys think about that? Now that's going to take me a little bit of time to do, but um, in the meantime, let me just, I'm going to trim this one end right there. Okay, we're going to get this cut and ready to go. And then we're going right through here because we're going to do a belly band. Tell me what you think about putting the ribbon through. Ribbon, yes. Ribbon, no. Seam, I do have seam binding. I have purple seam binding um, that I was going to use for a tie closure. Oh, oh, geez, I cut that crooked. How can I cut that so crooked on one side and not on the other? Who even knows? No to the ribbon. Oh, some of you are saying yes. Well, we could do ribbon on one and not on the other. It doesn't have to be. All right. Ribbon, no. Should we do ribbon on one and ribbon on the other or none on the other? Because we could do ribbon on the pocket. I'm worried about the the grabbing, okay? So, because this is grabby. So, anything we put through there, and I mean, we can always dress it up with something else. Hey, Larry. Yeah. You know that purple stringy stuff you brought in from the banister last night? Can I have that? Hang on a second, guys. Let's Let's visit the idea of the seam binding. Teresa likes it just like it is. Sue is saying, put it on both. And again, if you get this ribbon and, and lace and stuff, you can do it yourself. I just wish I had like a, a green and I don't have, I don't have any green other than the green, um, that I dyed. 
this screen. But here's the purple that, if you get a kit, you're going to get purple in your kit. Oh, yeah, they're a yard long. <laughs> um, so you get a yard of this for using for your, for your closure. But um, tip, loop the ribbon onto a paper clip. Yes, Carol, thank you. So, you know, the green will match because it'll match the cover. And I actually have this a little backwards. Because I want this flower on the front. So it would be this direction. Pocket belly band. And then, oh, paper clip. Paper clip, paper clip. Give me a paper clip. Oh, she has my, my brains a weaving now. All right, loop it through here. Almost like a sewing thing, right? Let's give it a try. Let's just see. If we don't like it, we can pull it out. Oh, yeah. That's a lot better, you guys. We'll just go a little bit through and see if you guys like that or not. So I'll glue it flat. See what it looks like with the green? You like the green? You just didn't like the whitish gold ribbon. Okay, that's fair. That's definitely a fair statement. I, I like the green. So if I do the green, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the green for my tie closure so it pulls it all together. But, you know, just know you'll get purple in your kit. The green is pretty. Okay, we'll keep going with it then and take a look and see what it looks like. So the reason I'm worried about the pocket and the belly band right now is on the count of the sewing. So when I sew it, I want it to be able to go through um, all of what I have laid down. So if it's going to be a pocket, that's great. If it's going to be a uh, belly band, I want the stitching to go through that as well. It makes the perfect weave ribbon, right? I'm just trying to keep it straight because it's it's wrinkly from dyeing it. And then I crinkle it up to dry so you get that kind of crinkled look. That's the look they say we're supposed to have. I don't know. <laughs> Who makes up these rules? It's not Jimmy Lou. And then we can even let some of this kind of hang out at the top and the bottom. All right, so there we go there. Oh, that's pretty, you guys. Oh, look at how pretty. Oh, I like that. All right, we're going to do it in the pocket, too. Oh, hang on, my piece got crooked. Let's see which way is the best way to go. How did I turn, how did I get a twist in that? And it's like right in the middle part too. <laughs> Hold on. I don't have OCD, but there are certain things that will bother me and that actually would bother me. So hang on one second while I flip this over. So tell me, has anybody started decorating for Christmas yet? <laughs> anybody just skip over the whole Thanksgiving thing and you got your Christmas tree up? My daughter-in-law has her Christmas tree up already, but it's her first Christmas as a married lady. And I think like that just has her excited. So, okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. And I can always fiddle with it later. All right, so belly band, we're going to glue just the top and the bottom down. No way. <laughs> Some of you are like, nope, absolutely not, Jimmy Lou. What are you saying? What are you saying, Jimmy Lou? All right, so here we go here. Do, 
。ドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥルッドゥル Would I like some breakfast? Um, I'm almost finished, so. um, One egg over easy? And a piece of toast? Whew. How about that, guys? I'm getting breakfast made for me. I wish I could have fabric. You can't have fabric? Why can't you have fabric? Am I missing something? Is it something to do with like allergies? All right, so there we go there. Okay. And I think what I want to do, just to make it a little extra fancy, is I'm going to tie a knot in the end down here. Hang on. Wait for it. If I don't like it, I can always cut it off. Okay, so just like that. I'll glue that down. I don't like that. Never mind. I thought it would look cool. It would probably look cool on that one. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to glue this down first. So make sure you know where your fold is for pockets, okay? Because you don't want to not know where you're at. Okay. Sometimes things just take a little time and you just got to be patient with it. Okay, so we're going to glue this down using Fabri-Tac because I'm using the fabric on. You go out to eat for Thanksgiving? Awesome. That's easy. No cooking, no fuss, no muss. Somebody else gets to do the dishes. I think that's a great idea. Okay, so just like that. And then I'm going to give a little glue for the Fabri-Tac Oh my gosh. Or for the seam binding. On the end down here. Just so that it doesn't get pulled out by accident. Okay. Now we're going to go straight across. And look at my glue has... What did it do? <laughs> what is happening here? I think I have a... Yep. I had a little clogger there. Good morning, Yvonne. Hey there. The dogs got you up at 5.30. Oy. I miss having a dog, but then there are times when someone comes on and says something like that, and I'm like, you know, I'm a little glad that I don't have a dog. <laughs> I don't know. I think next year, I think we're, we might get a dog next year. I don't know. I don't want to do one just yet. And it has to be good with the baby kind of thing. Because I don't want to. I don't want to have a dog that it can't be around the baby. You know. So. And also it's got to be good around other dogs. Because Josh and Alay have dogs. Raquel has a dog. And so does. Uh, so does. Uh, Josh and Lacey have two. They have two pitties that are really 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 sweetheart dogs okay so see how that's past the edge there that's okay i'm gonna just trim it off just like this now when i stitch this on the sewing machine this part here is gonna maybe clunk 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 because it has the extra fabric but that's okay so there's my pocket now we'll do a belly band and i think i want to decide you guys help me decide should I leave that we have some hanging off top and bottom or should we let it, should I cut it flush? What do you want to see? Uh, cause if we're gonna, if we're gonna leave it straight or not have any hanging off, then I want to maybe tie those knots. Put some bees on the ribbon hanging. I think I have I have some 
B charms, I think. Hanging out. Okay. Oh, did you mean beads? Okay. So I'm not going to put beads on yet because we're going to stitch that on. Okay. So, okay. All right, you guys. So let me see what time is it? It is 10 o'clock. I'm going to be back here in an hour. I'm going to be in, on here in an hour and be at the sewing machine. Okay. And we'll spend an hour together or 45 minutes or so together uh, working on stitching stuff. Okay. I like it with the knot sticking out the top, just like that. And then, yes, we have enough room that we could put some beads on it, as was suggested. So perhaps so. Let me just tie this in a knot down here. So we'll be back at 11 o'clock. Oh, I'm sorry, Anne. So at 11 o'clock, Anne, type in exclamation point notify. Okay, if you type that in, Facebook will tell you when I'm on live. Or they should. Don't blame me if they don't, but they should tell you. Okay, so we're going to do some fabric tack along here. Sorry, guys. And we're just going to press that down. Now, when we sew, we're going to stitch. I'm going to make sure my knots are on the outside of my piece. Okay, but yeah, you could totally add charms or beads or any of that stuff on there that you want to. And then that's our cover. So our cover looks really, really pretty so far. We're going to sew on it with some beige kind of coloring. So we'll pull in the colors there. So our next video is sewing. The video after that will be about the signature. Now I have my signature papers all here ready to go. I printed out what I wanted from Cynthia's kit and I'm going to show you how my thinking for, you know, I don't have, well, we might have to. I was going to say, I don't have a piece of, okay. Cause I just think that sometimes this adds a lot of prettiness to what we're doing. So um, I have my stuff ready to go for my signature. Next live at 11 o'clock, we're going to be at the table at the sewing machine and we're going to stitch around our cover and I'm going to show you how to do like a snippet roll uh, so that you can use snippet roll in your book different places if you like. Um, you know, you don't have to use, you don't have to make a snippet roll. You don't have to do any of those things, but um, I'm loving the colors in this book too. The non-traditional kind of white pumpkin um, with the purples, I just think is looking really pretty. Usually we associate purples with Halloween, but in this case, you know, we've got a lot, a lot kind of happening. There's places to write, places for photos, all kinds of fun stuff. So I'm going to see you all real soon. I hope that you enjoyed making this with me and, um, I'm going to see you at 11 o'clock. Remember to always be kind guys, because you never know what someone's going through and I'll see you all real soon. Okay. Bye guys.